Hey, Redemption Gateway, back to, uh, welcome back to our Daily Dose. Uh, I'm Seth, and I get to talk to you about this uh, series we're in, talking about being an imitator of God. Have you ever had someone just undo you with a question that really got, that slipped past your defenses and pulled out something that you weren't expecting to come out? I remember one time I was in a, in a small little therapy group, and there was a the therapist lady, I don't remember her name, but she affected me tremendously. I remember we were talking about being emotional and why some people are really slow to let their emotions out. I remember thinking like, I don't know why I'm slow to let my emotions out. Um, and she said, well, how do you feel about people who are emotional? And immediately the answer to that question, I, I understood where she was going. I understood the question and had to do with like, well, I tend to feel superior and judge people who let their emotions out. I don't want people to judge me when I let my emotions out. Therefore, I conceal my emotions so that I don't, I'm preemptively trying to avoid the judgment of other people. And it was just a question. And it gave me tremendous self-understanding. It helped me sense an unhealthy flinch that I had. And also made me expose self-righteousness and judgmentalism in me. It's just a question. And a lot of times you think that God speaks and he says and he preaches tons of sermons and he does do that. He preaches a couple sermons, but God asks a lot more questions than you'd expect. In Genesis 3, after Adam sins, God approaches him and says, Adam, where are you? God knows where Adam is. Why does he ask questions? Part of it, he's trying to give Adam the ability to self-assess and recognize I'm far from God. That it's even in Adam's answering of God's question that God's accomplishing what he wanted in Adam. Likewise, in the Gospels, you see Jesus asks 307 questions. Some of them have tremendous effect on people and cause them to stir. And So part of being an imitator of God has to do with we ask good questions. We are really curious. We are genuinely curious. There's a season in my life where I thought, I'm just not that curious. And that's just called being arrogant. So you may be kind of like I thought I was. I'm just not that curious of a person. But when you're not curious, that just means you feel like you already know what you need to know. And that's arrogance. So I hope that we as Redemption Gateway, that we can be a curious people who ask lots of questions, not condoning questions, like why would you do that? <laughs> or, or the condemning questions, I mean. But really curious questions meant to draw people out, to help them see themselves so that you can see them, to always think about how there's more to someone than I can see and that I know. And that part of being an imitator of God means I draw them out from time to time. So Redemption Gateway, let's imitate God, let's ask good questions, let's move towards people. And let's not feel like we have all the answers, but let's be a people who are known for a lot of our questions. Have a good rest of your day.